I'm not trying to make you nervous or anything, but it's all come down to this. Match five against Drew McIntyre for the championship I've held for a record-setting two and a half years. Well, when you put it that way, there's definitely no pressure. Sorry, it's just hard not having control over what happens, but I know you can do this. Just treat it like any other regular match. Sure. I mean, that might be a little difficult with the giant stack of pancakes and grass-covered ramp, but I'll try my best. That's all I can ask. I wanted to let you know the guys and I got together and decided that if you pull off the series win, we'll consider calling our team the new Trey like you suggested. Really? That's awesome. Sure, I mean, we probably won't team up that often or ever again after this, but still, the offer stands. Oh, well, thanks. Go get him, champ! Are you happy? There's a chance I could lose my title without ever being pinned. If it makes you feel any better, Becky Lynch promised me that no one from her side will get involved in the final match. Oh, she promised you. Then I'm sure we have nothing to worry about. Where do they keep the popcorn around here? I don't normally put trash food in my body, but I think watching your team let you down is worth an exception. The following contest. This is it. With the team's tied of two wins each, it all comes down to match five for the series in Red SmackDown Live Women's Championship. Trey's been in a lot of big matches throughout his career, but the professional and personal ramifications of this might be bigger than any other. Red may not talk to him for weeks if he's the reason her record-setting championship reign comes to an end. This might be putting undue responsibility on Trey since two of his teammates lost matches earlier tonight. However, I will agree he's facing immense pressure being in this winner-takes-all position. And I know I certainly wouldn't want to be him right now. Oh, He's just in so much pain right now. He's executing on his plan perfectly. He's a ball of energy right now, but we'll see if it lasts. Look at this. Snap suplex. Hook them. DDT. I say Drew McIntyre's career is a story of two completely different chapters. McIntyre himself would tell you his first chapter didn't quite go as planned, but boy, chapter two is a whole nother story. Setting him up for the flatliner. Oh, man, face first. Tick. Uh oh. Whoa. Running senton. Drew McIntyre beginning to look a little uneasy. 
He's lost much of his early confidence. Oh, God. That looked devastating. Wow. Yeah, I'm just as surprised as you are, Michael. seen just about everything tonight. Wait a second. It, is that who I think it is? It's Samoa Joe. We haven't seen Samoa Joe in six or seven years since he was fired from WWE after a shocking loss to Trey for the Universal title. Well, apparently he hasn't gotten over that. What the heck is that? It looks like some kind of enhanced arm. Like Samoa Joe wasn't deadly enough already. Unbelievable. This is shocking. I cannot believe Samoa Joe is back. I know, after all this time, I never thought we'd see him again. And he just broke Trey in half. And now Drew McIntyre covers Trey. It's all over. Becky Lynch and her team has won the best of five series, and Becky is your new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. It looks like Trey's gonna throw up. I don't blame him. Not only did he lose the series and Red's championship, but the nightmare that is Samoa Joe has returned to terrorize him. I'm back, and I'm coming. For you. I'm honestly stunned at what we've just witnessed. <laughs> and so is Trey. This is going to send shockwaves throughout WWE. 